Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at exact equations and we're going to look at the steps to solve an exact equation uh, first of all. So the, the difference equation is 1 minus 3 over y plus x times dy dx plus y equals 3 over x minus 1. Now sometimes they aren't already in that form, m dx plus n dy. So what we have to do is get it in that form and then we can basically go through and try to solve for the exact solution. So um, the steps really are to test for exactness and then integrate m with respect to x, integrate n with respect to y, and then find f of x, uh, which is the union of those two integrations, and then set f of x, y equal to a constant, and then solve for c if you have some kind of initial condition. So in this problem, um, it's not already in that form, m dx plus n dy equals zero. So what we need to do is we need to put it in that form. So to put it in that form, we're going to basically move that, move this y right here, move this y over to the right hand side and then multiply by dx. So the differential equation will become one minus three over y plus x times dy equals. So if I move that stuff over, I get 3 over x minus 1 minus y dx. So I want everything on the left or just one side, so I'm going to move this dx times this parentheses over to the left side. So that's going to give me, well, a negative sign going through that would be 1 plus y minus 3 over x times dx plus 1 minus 3 over y plus x dy equals 0. And now we've got in the, in the form m dx n dy equals 0. So now what we need to do is take the partial with respect to m of so partial m, partial y, partial m, partial y equals 1. And partial n, partial x is also equal to 1. So that is our test for exactness. So this implies it's an exact equation. So that's our test for exactness, partial m, partial y equals partial n partial x. That means it's exact. Now to get the solution, the implicit solution f of x, y, we have to integrate m with respect to x. So f of x, y will be the integral of m with respect to x. So that's going to be the integral of 1 plus y minus 3 over x dx. So integrate with respect to x. We get x plus xy minus 3 natural log absolute value x plus maybe something that only depends on y. So I'll call it g of y. Also, f of xy is going to be the integral of n with respect to y. So we integrated with respect to x, now we're integrating with respect to y, integrate n. So that's going to be 1 minus 3 over y plus x dy. And that's going to be integral is going to be 1 or y minus 3 natural log absolute value of y plus xy. Plus maybe something that only depends on x. So h of x. So we've got our functions. Now we take the union of these two. So f of x, y is the union of these two. Well, that's going to be x plus y plus x, y minus 3 natural log absolute value x minus 3 natural log absolute value y. And we can reduce that using a log property. We can say this is x 
plus y plus xy minus 3 natural log absolute value xy. And then last thing, we set it equal to a constant because we don't have an initial condition, we set it equal to a constant. And we say that's equal to c. And so our solution here is really just this last part. And that's our implicit solution. So we don't have initial condition, we can't solve for c. So we just leave it right there. And that is the implicit solution to this exact differential equation.